and this part of the Christian world was helped by Allah Allah helped them were there people who already believed in the Trinity and worship Jesus as the Son of God at the time when this occurred of course they were of course they were Allah helped a Christian people would this be true of Americans and French and British and Germans and Italians and so on? <laughs> the Christianity of the West no this is the, the other part of the Christian world which was in Constantinople and remain in Constantinople relentless hostility ever increasing hostility this is the verse of the Quran that is fulfilled today Rome is not Rome not at all Rome is Rome and Rome is Rome don't make the mistake Surah to Rome who is Rome the followers of Jesus constitute two parts one part which remained faithful to the law and that was Constantinople and the other part which went to the West this part which went to the West the Quran pointed out that there's going to be a mysterious reconciliation between one part of the Christian world and one part of the Jewish world and that reconciliation will lead to an alliance and when that alliance takes place and it has now taken place in the Judeo-Christian Zionist alliance which has created NATO as its military arm when I hope the leadership of the Pakistan Armed Forces are listening when that Judeo-Christian alliance comes into being with NATO, of course, even a schoolboy will know it's their military arm. Then you, the followers of Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him, you are prohibited from maintaining friendly ties and being their allies. If you violate Allah's command, here is the command in the Quran. Do not take Jews and Christians as your friends and allies who are friends and allies of each other. And Allah goes on to say that if you do that, if you join NATO, if you become a friend and ally of NATO, as it seems to me, Pakistan is moving back into that de deplorable relationship now. <laughs> we, we might even have American bases once again in Pakistan, of course, covered. If you do that, then you no longer belong to this Ummah, you belong to them. This is the command in the Quran in Surah Al Ma'idah. And so now we proceed. If Allah has prohibited us from maintaining friendly ties and being allies with those Christians who today have joined with the Jews in the Zionist alliance and have NATO as their, mem their military arm, what about the other Christians who have not done that? Allah speaks in the Quran again in Surah Al-Ma'idah and this is today's class. Of course this is for beginners because there are so many who have already studied this subject and they know the subject and they are now going to be teaching others the subject Allah speaks in Surah Al-Ma'idah this is how we, we link the verses of the Quran the way we link the stars you will most certainly find at this time when the Quran is being revealed and in time to come because it is fa'al mudariya in Arabic grammar ashadda nasi adawatan lilladhina amanul yahud you will most certainly find that Jews would be the most hostile people of all to you this is true today ask any Palestinian Go look at Gaza, the concentration camp of Gaza, and you will see the relentless hostility. Relentless 
hostility, ever increasing hostility. This is the verse of the Quran that is fulfilled today. And in addition to that, there are other people who are steeped in shirk, blasphemy. Who will be the most hostile of all people to you? Modern Western civilization has blasphemy written on its face. A man can marry another man and get a marriage certificate? And you say you're following Jesus? What nonsense! And so the Quran speaks about a time to come when these people will be most hostile to you and you don't need a pair of spectacles to realize we are living today in that age when this is fulfilled. If this is fulfilled today, what about the rest of the verse? And you will most certainly find this is indisputable truth that those who will be closest in love and affection for you, the followers of Prophet Muhammad would be a people who declare we are Christians. Their primary identity is their faith because they declare we are Christians. And so they're not secularized people. Their faith is more important to them than their nationality. Could this be true of Americans and French and British and Germans and Italians and so on? <laughs> the Christianity of the West? No. This is the, the other part of the Christian world which was in Constantinople and remained in Constantinople. This is my analysis and I invite you to examine it. These are the people who will be closest in love and affection for you. Why? The Quran goes on to say, Thalika bi anna minhum kisisin warhubana wa annahum la yastakbirun. This is because they still have the institution of the priesthood intact. The priest still has a status in society keeping society integrated and, and strong and healthy. And in their religious way of life, they have the institution of monasticism. The monastery in the West is fast becoming McDonald's hamburgers, but they still love and revere their monastic way of life and their monastery. That's why their hearts are bleeding for Kosovo. The, most, the monk has a special place in their heart. I hope one day I can go to Mount Athos or Athos in Greece, where that famous monastery is located. Annahum wa sorry, excuse me, wa annahum la yastakbirun, and they are not an arrogant people. They don't want all of mankind to become carbon copies of themselves. No, 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 you have to live the way we live, so take off the hijab. They don't have that arrogance. They are a humble people. Those who forget that humility, time to remind them, come back to that humility of the true Christian. They don't have this arrogance of wanting to rule the world the imperial agenda, the exceptionalism. This is the other part of the Christian world. In addition to this analysis which I have just conducted, the Quran also gives us other means of identifying him. There's an entire surah of the Quran entitled Surah to... Uh, surah to... Um, Rum, Surah to Rum. Rome is not Rome. Not at all. Rome is Rome, and Rome is Rome. Don't make the mistake. Surah to Rome. Who is Rome? In the Quran, only once in the whole Quran does the word Rome occur. Guli batil Rome. Rome has been defeated. Fi adnal, out in a land close by. 
وهم من بعد غلبهم سيغلبون but after this defeat they will be victorious في بداية سنين in just a short time a few years Allah is speaking about a specific event in history which occurred in the lifetime of the Prophet and when that victory came the believers celebrated Muhammad celebrated when that victory occurred this is in the Quran who is wrong? they were victorious these people were victorious because of Allah's help Allah help room. So who is room in the Quran? Room in the Quran is Constantinople. Room in the Quran is the Holy Byzantine Empire. Room in the Quran is that part of the Christian world which had not as yet been broken into two, with one part going to Monkey Town, Puno Kiradat and Khasim. Or when I learned in Pakistan to call it Bandarabad. <laughs> and Rome is that Orthodox Christian world which had not as yet been divided into two. And this part of the Christian world was helped by Allah. Allah helped them. Were there people who already believed in the Trinity and worshipped Jesus as the Son of God at the time when this occurred? Of course they were. Of course they were. Allah helped a Christian people who already were worshipping Jesus as the Son of God in violation of Allah's command in the Quran. And who already had belief in the Trinity which Allah had denounced in the Quran. And yet He helped them. And then the Quran went on to say, Min qabl wa min ba'd, that there are two victories for Rome. One which occurs before and the other which occurs after. And this begs the question, before what? Or after what? There must be something in between, min kabul wa min bad. My answer is the great schism, which broke the Byzantine Empire into two. That is my answer in 1054. That is min kabul wa min bad. One victory before that great schism, and another victory which is still to come, which has not as yet come. So now, who are the Christians who are going to be closest in love and affection for us? The answer from the Quran is those Christians who are our help in Surah to room. The answer from your examination of concrete reality today as well, they are the same Christians who are now drawing closer to us. That's right. If you look at the comments to my lectures, you'll see how many Christians are now coming closer to us. The evidence is there plain and clear. This is why I travel to that part of the world, to reach the Quran out to them. I spoke in the University of Belgrade. Twice I lectured in the auditorium. And they were weeping. They were weeping in the, in the university. There were only a handful of Muslims. The whole hall was packed with only Orthodox Christians. They welcomed me standing ovation for so long. I never had this experience before in my life. They showed love and affection for me. as never before shown to me in any public event. And so I visited Belgrade twice already. And now I'm preparing to visit Greece. I'm preparing to visit Armenia. I'm preparing to visit Russia once again. I'm preparing to visit Macedonia. And of course, in Albania, you have half, half, or you have a significant Orthodox Christian community there. And to build fraternity with them, to prepare the way for that day when we'll have between the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him, and the Ummah of Jesus, Allah's blessing be upon him love and friendship and affection and alliance. I'm teaching you the Quran and I pray that Allah may put it into your heart to go and study the Quran to see whether or not I'm correct in my explanation. 
And if my explanation is correct and you're convinced and you accept it, then please go on to teach others. And may Allah bless you in this blessed Ramadan. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.